Okay, so you're ready to conquer matrices in GeoGebra, and you want to do it fast. We hear you. No time for chit chat. Let's dive right in. Today, we're focusing on a super practical tutorial about creating matrices right in GeoGebra. No fuss, no muss. It's awesome. You'll see just how straightforward it is. This tutorial doesn't waste any time. It jumps right into building a basic two by two matrix using uh, the input field in GeoGebra. Right into the action. It all comes down to curly brackets and commas. They even give the example, uh, double curly bracket, one comma two, close curly bracket, yeah. comma, open curly bracket, three comma four, close curly bracket, double close curly bracket. Yeah. And it's pretty cool how these basic symbols like represent such a powerful mathematical idea. Right. Think of it like a grid, almost like a spreadsheet, but in math, you can organize info and do like really complex calculations with matrices. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. The tutorial really stresses how important those brackets and commas are. Is it really that big of a deal to get them right? Oh, absolutely. Those outer brackets, they define the whole matrix, right? Yeah. The inner brackets are for each row and the commas, well, they separate the numbers within those rows. If you mess that up, JDBR won't know what you're trying to do. It's like a secret code that JDBR needs to understand. Exactly. And it seems like this whole system works no matter the size of the matrix, right? Because the tutorial even shows how to make a three by two matrix. Double curly bracket, one comma too close, curly bracket, comma, open curly bracket, three comma four, close curly bracket, comma, open curly bracket, five comma six, close curly bracket, double close curly bracket. That's right. Each row is like its own little list inside that bigger matrix structure. And the cool thing is that JDB actually shows you the matrix visually, like once you hit enter, so you mm. can confirm that you've got it right. Well, that's super helpful. So you can double check your work and make sure that you put everything where it's supposed to be. Exactly. Earlier, you mentioned that matrices are used for all these interesting things in JDB. Can you give us a little preview of what we can do with them? Sure. Imagine like you want to rotate a shape or flip yeah. it over a line. Those are transformations and you can easily do them with matrices. They're like a super powerful tool for manipulating things in that virtual space. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So to sum this all up, creating matrices in GeoGebra is much easier than it might seem at first glance. The syntax is the same, whether you're working with square or rectangular matrices. Absolutely. So now that you've mastered creating these, these mathematical powerhouses, what will you do with them in GeoGebra? The possibilities are kind of endless. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive. Until next time. See ya!